Irene! I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't just let him go. Well, you're going to have to, for his sake. It's the least that you can do. I mean, if it hadn't been for me, you wouldn't even have a son. Yes, you're right, OK, my life's been a complete car crash. It's been a struggle. And I've screwed up more times than I've got it right, but finally, I'm in a good place and, I, and I'm making something in my life. Well, nobody could argue with that. You've done well for it. A what? An ex-prostitute. But look at me now. I've got my kids, I've got my grandkids, I love the bones of them. Half this pub is mine. I've got my roots down here, I've got my mates, my family, and I work hard, you know. So if I can turn my life around, surely I can prove to you that I can do this. Well, but you've got to be present, patient, emotionally stable. You're none of these things. Well, no more drama from now on. Me and Ryan will start again, and it'll, it'll be more calm and controlled this time. And I'll put him first, no matter what. And you really think you can manage that? I can do anything if I want it badly enough. I swear on my kids' lives, I'll never let him down again. And if after that he wants nothing more to do with me, then I swear to you, I will walk away. But please, just give me this one last chance to get to know my boy. Oh. So, um, me and you. Tell me there isn't something. I'm engaged to Frank. Engaged? Not married? Yet? I really like you, Graham. But? Frank really loves me. He'd do anything for me. You think that's enough? Yeah. Frank, the girls, Eliza, we're a family. I lost my son and my brother. And I've drifted for years, and for the first time, I feel like I'm home. It makes you happy. I've never felt so loved. If he finds out about us, it would break his heart. You do know. He won't hear anything from me. Charity decides that she hates me enough, she could blow my world apart. And there's nothing that I can do about it. <laughs>